Historian berates billionaires at Davos over tax avoidance. Rutger Bregman tells panel that the real issue is the rich not paying their fair share. Here's a summary of the article. A discussion panel at the Davos World Economic Forum has become a sensation after a Dutch historian took billionaires to task for not paying taxes. In a video shared tens of thousands of times, Rutger Bregman, author of the book Utopia for Realists, bemoans the failure of attendees at the recent gathering in Switzerland to address the key issue in the battle for greater equality, the failure of rich people to pay their fair share of taxes. Noting that 1,500 people had traveled to Davos by private jet to hear David Attenborough talk about climate change, he said he was bewildered that no one was talking about raising taxes on the rich. I hear people talking the language of participation, justice, equality and transparency but almost no one raises the real issue of tax avoidance, right? And of the rich just not paying their fair share, Bregman tells the Time magazine panel on inequality. Industry had to stop talking about philanthropy and start talking about taxes, he said, and cited the high tax regime of 1950s America as an example to disprove arguments by businesspeople at Davos such as Michael Dell that economies with high personal taxation could not succeed. Taxes, taxes, taxes. All the rest is bullshit in my opinion. Another panel member, Winnie Bionema, an Oxfam executive director, took up the fight and said high employment was not a good thing in itself because many people found themselves in exploitative work. This post received a score of 47,283, with an upvote ratio of 84%. Here are the top comments in response to this article. Unfortunately absent from most of the discussions on Reddit around taxing the rich. Ah, Panama Papers. Greater than during World War II, Congress introduced payroll withholding and quarterly tax payments. In pursuit of equality President Franklin D. Roosevelt proposed a 100% tax on all incomes over $25,000. When Congress did not enact that proposal, Roosevelt issued an executive order attempting to achieve a similar result through a salary cap on certain salaries in connection with contracts between the private sector and the federal government. For tax years 1944 through 1951, the highest marginal tax rate for individuals was 91%, increasing to 92% for 1952 and 1953, and reverting to 91% for tax years 1954 through 1963. The 50s was the golden age of America AFAIC. I wasn't alive then myself, but I strongly correlate this time period of very high taxes on the most wealthy with the generation of the most iconic of American national parks, numerous schools and public buildings, and development of American culture rock and roll, Smokey the Bear, restaurants where you don't even get out of your car. We as people can come together, find and focus our examination of individual problems and find better solutions for them. Finding better incentives that reward good actions is what will get people to change. As a person, and as a society, we can do better, we must do better, we will do better. Let's believe in a better world, and then start to actively make it better. This problem is what economists refer to as the tragedy of the commons, and is a very difficult problem to solve given the selfish nature of people. Enforcing taxes is meant to solve it, but the rich find a way around it. It's pitiful. People often don't want to pay for others' care. Half of America has a Ron Swanson-type attitude with most public service. This attitude helps contribute to corruption that leads to ballooning costs in public works and we are left with a vicious cycle of poor and expensive government services. Even now, you probably have people on the right who celebrate the government shut down since government is wasteful. Shutting down the GOVT is like turning off an oven. You gotta preheat it again later anyway. Massive waste in overheads. This is basically the analogy that the NASA administrator used about the space program. And operation that takes tens of thousands of people needs to be warmed up before it can be up and running again. Remember the Panama Papers? That surely didn't get a lot of attention for long. This video was automatically created by Reddit to speech. The article and comments in this video were selected from Reddit according to their upvotes, and any paraphrasing was performed by smmry.com, without any human intervention.